I'm about to learn how the combination of speed, reliability and price has made the Fanuc Robo Drill so irresistible to engineers in recent years and today we're at Axley Precision. The Robo Drill has increased our machining capacity because it's got a much higher speed spindle than our other machines and we've integrated a five axis unit with it as well. So the Robo Drill is the fastest machine on our shop floor. 24,000 RPM spindle, through spindle coolant and a very fast chip to chip speed. As a BBT30 spindle, I was really surprised how powerful it was. We're machining tool steels, aluminium, stainless steels, any material that comes in front of us. I'm Peter Ames. I'm the Managing Director of Apsley Precision Engineering in Salisbury and we're subcontractors to the aerospace, defence and medical industries. From the investments we've made over the past five years, we can supply five axis machine components, mill turn components and anything else underneath. 18 months ago we bought the Robo Drill because we were looking to shorten our cycle times. With a 24,000 RPM spindle, it's made a huge difference for our business. Fanuc have got an excellent reputation and their robo drill has been out in the market for many years so that's the reason why we chose to go for this machine as an upgrade to what we have with the rest of our machines on the shop floor. With BBT30 being considered a lighter spindle technology to BT40, I wanted to know if Peter's robo drill could handle that harder machining. The performance of this machine really surprised me. It could take really deep cuts just like you can on a BT40 and with the BBT30 spindle it's extremely rigid. We run aluminium on the robo drill most of the time however it's perfectly suited to any other material that goes through the shop so today we're running tool steels uh, and last week we were running 316 stainless on there. There is the assumption that BT30 spindles are not up to the job but we've had no trouble at all with running all of those materials on the robo drill. We bought the machine as a three axis, but then decided to add a five axis unit to it. That gives us the facility to finish components complete, as we have a fixed vise on one side of the bed and a five axis vise on the other. So I've taken parts off some of our other machines, stuck them straight on the robo drill, and it's incredibly robust. And then there's speed. With these machines moving like lightning, I wanted to know if this lived up to its name. So the spindle runs at 24,000 RPM. It's the fastest spindle on the shop floor and in all honesty we've not 40 percent off some of our cycle times on the subject of speed the tool changer is incredibly fast it's got a rotary carousel on there so that means that it's just over a second for tool changes and in some cases that's taken minutes off our cycle times it all sounds wonderful doesn't it a small footprint of a machine a machine that's capable of handling harder materials but also lighter materials faster so why wouldn't you buy a robo drill or is there a catch so the price of this machine is really competitive. The cycle times are short, and that means that you get more value for your money. The return on investment for this machine has been much better than others that are comparable in the market, just because it's so much quicker, and it means that we can get components off faster and out to our customer sooner than we would do otherwise. In terms of the size of the machine, it's got a smaller footprint than a lot of the others that are comparable, which means that we can get more into the same space. Fanuc have been great at supporting us with this machine, the spares are readily available and their service engineers always come out as soon as you need them. I'd recommend the Robo Drill because it's super fast, super accurate and great value for money.